I was on the web a couple of weeks ago or thereabouts, and I came across this article. Uh, actually, it may have been an ad through Facebook. I don't remember. But I, I came across this article in phillymag.com. And you know how bees collect pollen and, you know, they make honey. Well, pollen isn't the only food source for honeybees. Apparently, there is, let me get this straight here. There's some kind of a sugary honeydew. There's some kind of a sugary honeydew that they can eat. So we're talking the excretions of aphids and other insects. And when they analyzed this honey, uh, they found that um, the sugar profile matched something called Ilanthus or tree of heaven. And it's a, it's a species of tree. Um, and the thing is, is that there's an invasive species called lanternflies. Uh, that basically they they attack these trees and uh, then they secrete this honeydew. And actually, I think that if I read correctly, when when I'll have to check this, I apologize. But I think when bees collect pollen and make they make honey. But when they eat any other kind of sugary substance, technically that's a honeydew. Um, so I was intrigued and I went on the web. And I ordered this. And this 8-ounce bottle is $14 plus another $8 shipping and handling. So this this half a pound of butter, I'm sorry, of honey, is basically $22. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to take a, take a spoon and do a taste test and report. Now, it's been said that it's sort of oaky and uh, oak barrel-y, woodsy. It quoted tastes like fall and wet leaves. It's like the epitome of autumn. At least that's what it says in the article in phillymag.com. So I'm going to put the phone down for a second and open this guy up. Doom Bloom Honey, Pennsylvania Spotted Lanternfly Honey. So give me a moment here, ladies and gentlemen, to sort of just put the phone down for one moment. I'm not going away. I'm opening up the... Okay. Okie dokes. Okie dokes. And it looks like honey. And in goes the spoon. Now, I'm more of a maple syrup kind of guy, but what the heck, you know, honey. Honey's not honey. Honey's not bad. Okay, this is gonna. Okay. Okay. And a one, and a two, and a. Okay, it's um, it's honey. It's honey. I'll have a little another, little another taste here. Okay. No, I mean, I've had buckwheat honey, which is honey that's, you know, bees make when they go to the uh, buckwheat plant, and that's where they uh their pollen. Um, I wouldn't say it's spectacularly different. Um, I mean, it, it, it's, it's, it's honey. Here's the business card that came with the box. So Don Shump is the owner, apiarist. That means the, uh, he's the bee guy. And uh, he's got a website or a site on Facebook. It says here, the average honeybee will make only one twelfth of a teaspoon of honey in its lifetime. So I, I basically had myself a teaspoon. That means um, 12, 12, 12 honeybees laid down their lives for that teaspoon that I just had. And um, this is the other side of the card. Philadelphia, Philadelphia Bee Company. So that's the scoop, or the spoonful. Um... This honey, I'm sure... Let me put the phone down for a second. I apologize. Um, I can see adding this to my... Uh, I can see adding this to my waffles or pancakes or whatever. Um, it's honey. I mean, the, the closest I can say to the taste is that um, if you've ever had uh, buckwheat honey, in other words, honey that, you know, bees... Where bees got the pollen from the buckwheat plant... Um, that's sort of what it reminds me of. Nothing spectacular out of this world. 
and as you can see, it's edible. So um, if you're ever curious about Doom Bloom honey, which is made from the excretions, uh, the sugary honeydew of the Pennsylvania spotted lanternfly, now you know.